and I am in downtown Reykjavik today for the Pride Parade. It's going to be amazing. I'm so excited to show you guys around. We'll get a little bit of the city before the parade starts and then all of the action. It's absolutely packed downtown. There's so many people, locals and foreigners. It's awesome. Not to mention absolutely beautiful weather. Can't complain. Now Reykjavik is a really colorful city already by itself, but today the city goes absolutely crazy. There are rainbows painted everywhere. Everyone is decked out in color. So the Pride Festival has been going on for many days. It started last weekend and it's been going on and tomorrow's the last day, but Saturday is always the parade. So the city is starting to fill up. It's getting really busy. There's people walking everywhere. It's such a fun thing to be a part of and I highly recommend it to anyone that's going to be in Iceland in August. The other thing that's really nice is this is totally a family event. So there are so many you know, families walking around with their kids and their kids are obviously, you know, looking around and very curious and it's such a cool thing for them to be able to experience. So it's definitely family friendly. Couldn't get better weather. I can't believe this. It's so nice. I am wearing a jacket, but that's all I need. I don't even need gloves or a headband. It's amazing. Pretty happy about that. I would say fall is in the air, but it does kind of feel actually more like all late summer day which obviously makes sense for August um, but a lot of like I've been here at this time of year before when it's been a lot colder so I'm gonna take it <laughs> Right, guys I'm back from the pride parade and I just have to say what an amazing experience it was I mean just the energy in the city and the bright colors everything was such a cool thing to be a part of so 
couple of tips for you if you're planning on joining this experience. Number one, go early. So the parade itself starts at two, but there were people there lining the streets and lining up and finding spots for about 30 minutes to an hour beforehand. So make sure that you get there early enough so that you can find a spot to park and then walk around the parade route so that you can find somewhere that you can see. I myself am about the shortest person there, so it was difficult for me. I was kind of having to peek over people and it was really tough to see until I was able to walk further down the route. So do give yourself plenty of time to park and get down for the parade. The parade route is subject to change every year. So this year it was started at Hakrinskirkja, but it could change, so just make sure to check out the website for the actual route. One hack that I saw people doing is that they were watching the parade from above. So maybe trying to find a bar or a restaurant that could serve you when you're watching the parade, that would be a really fun way to even experience the parade and then obviously giving you a better perspective. The parade itself is free to attend, so you don't have to worry about a thing. However, just a note that you will have to most likely pay for parking or find a place that's further away. A lot of the roads around the area are closed off, obviously, due to the parade route. Another thing that you can do that I didn't do is dress brightly. I saw people with hair dyed and lays and face paint, and everything like that. So don't be afraid to go all out. However, just make sure you're dressed appropriately. The weather in Reykjavik can be rainy and windy and cold. So just making sure you're prepared with the right outerwear and shoes as well. Lastly, make sure to bring your good mood. So this event is a huge celebration. There's children and family and all kinds of people. So everyone's there to have a good time. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you loved this video. If you did, you know what to do. And if you have any other suggestions for vlogs that you would like to see in the future, let me know in the comments. See you next time.